All right. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here. So this is something a little bit special here. I'm actually in my other uh, gallery co-op that I'm in. I'm in a couple of them. Um, but I made a video about uh, Village Artisans in Yellow Springs. And today I'm gonna be here talking about Front Street in Dayton, Ohio, uh, which is my second one that I joined and I'm still a regular member of, of course. Um, so basically just going to be, as you can see, it's after hours. So um, no one's here. This is actually the morning after first Friday. Uh, which is typically one of our big openings of the month. Um, we usually have them on first Friday and third Sunday. And um, it's just something special to do, you know, just get the community involved in um, art and everything. So we just celebrated our fifth anniversary here at this uh, specific uh, gallery in Front Street called the Artery at Front Street. Um, and this is the one that I'm a part of. And there's about 16 or 17 of us uh, regular members that, you know, have all different kinds of uh, mediums and different things that they bring to, I guess, the gallery itself. So yeah, basically I just want to make a little video here because I thought this was a nice day to just um, come over and visit and uh, put up a whole new display. So I'm actually taking down basically all of the display and everything that you see here. I'm going to be switching it out with everything I brought in here today, which is a bunch of abstract intentional camera movement photos. And uh, they're all printed on canvas and they all look very, very, very uh, just different. It's very different style from the typical, just normal straight photography that I'm used to um, doing. But I've been shooting these for a while now and I've been really shifting stylistically um, towards printing and exhibiting these a lot more in uh, all my different kinds of exhibitions and everything. Uh, it's, still, it's a really neat building. It's full of history, um, being an old uh, warehouse or set of warehouse buildings. And um, it's just a great community overall and I'm really glad I'm a part of it um, in this way. But anyways, I got a lot of work to do. I got to switch out everything, pull it off the wall and then start switching around with this and making little wall cards and everything else that goes along with it. So I got a lot of work to do. And um, so I'm basically just gonna get to it and I'll show you guys the results at the end here. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started here.
Alrighty, so I finally finished. It took actually a couple of hours to even get this done. So I had to go over the computer and print some labels uh, for, like I said, all the wall cards and everything. With basically list out the medium, the dimensions, and of course the price. Um, but yeah, I got it all you know, meticulously arranged basically by color and size. Um, the tallest, so the biggest pieces on top, and it just stackers all the way down to the bottom. And then just rearranging them based on color schemes and basically how I wanted to arrange it and uh, based on my vision with it when I ordered all these canvas pieces um, as, as a complete unit basically. And then I had to make and cut down, uh, trim down the sign that's on a, a basically a Canon luster paper, a photo paper, and then put it inside that frame. So it took a lot, a lot of work, but I managed to get it all done here, which is great. Um, so I really have nothing else to worry about, but I am going to add a little bit more to this bottom shelf and then the print bin and then this little section here's little cubby um, so it's not fully done but i mean definitely the walls and everything it looks really nice and full um, which i'm really happy with but I'm probably gonna add some like loose prints or matted prints inside this bin or something similar and just have a few things in the little easel stands and displays over here um, but i mean as a whole i'm just you know taking a glance and just really looking at it this looks really really awesome so I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think this is a nice move and something I'm really looking forward to exhibiting and sharing more of this kind of more niche uh, form of photography with other people, of course. Um, so, but now that I'm finally done, which feels like it's just a big weight off my shoulders, um, now I have to round up and clean up everything else, which is all the other former pieces. And then these are going to go off to my other galleries um, where I'm going to still be, of course, exhibiting other you know, outdoor photography, uh, the non-abstract stuff mainly. Um, so, you know, just the wildlife and landscapes and wildflowers and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I think with that being said, this is going to be the end of the video though. So I'm just going to pack everything up and uh, make my way out here. But um, it's not really the most exciting video probably to most people, but you know, I just really want to show you my process. I want to show you the behind the scenes about, you know, how these gallery exhibitions and everything work. And um, it really is a lot of work, quite frankly. So, you know, this stuff doesn't, doesn't get on the wall overnight. Um, it takes a lot of you know, dedication, uh, financial costs up front, especially the startup, and then uh, just putting it all together. And then uh, more importantly, really just taking the time to make it all look like a cohesive body of work. And, you know, it just takes, of course, all these photos are spanning years of all these abstract shots. So, I mean, just really just everything just culminating into this one, uh, pouring all my passion, I guess, into this project. So, um, I really like how it turned out, like I said, and I hope you enjoy it too. And I hope this video really um, educated you, I guess, if you're looking to get in the exhibits as well, um, as I enjoy doing here. So, I think that being said, I'm going to make my way out, like I said. And um, thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great day. Thank you.